Welcome to Better Gear, the show about making gear better. We will discuss the latest gossip on Friday, but today we are going to talk about how to get polyphony and Euclidean sequences for the Electron Digitact and we are going to play the Korg Chaoslator Pro with a keyboard using the RetroKids RK002 Smart MIDI cable. Disclaimer, I paid for the RK002 and I am not affiliated with RetroKit, but I found an RK006 in a package I didn't pay for and I am not gonna not use it. However, the RK002 is a MIDI cable with a built-in microprocessor that translates MIDI messages. It is powered via MIDI and you can program it using Google Chrome or any other browser capable of sending and receiving MIDI. The main reason I finally got one is that it is able to talk to three pieces of gear I own. The Electron Digitact, the Korg Chaosolator Pro and the Korg Volker Sample. But there are many other firmwares as well. Let's get right to it. The RK002 looks like a standard MIDI cable with a Dutch orange plug on one side. You need a proper MIDI interface for loading firmwares onto the cable, but my trusty old Motu worked great. The loading process is super convenient. Open Chrome or get a MIDI plugin for another browser and go to DUYRetroKits.com. Connect both sides of the cable to the interface, orange sides to the in. The focus of this episode will be on the Digitact and Chaosilator Pro. As mentioned before, it works with the Walker sample as well, but most functions are covered by the Pion firmware anyway. Many other instruments like Roland Boutiques, Volker Bass, DX7 and Oberheim Matrix 1K are supported and there are DUYs you can use with any instrument. Leave a comment if you have tried one of these. You can program your own firmware using Arduino IDE. RK002s are shipped with the firmware of your choice, but you can change it anytime you want. Just select the MIDI port, firmware, marvel at the well thought out features, click upload and you're good to go. There's a comprehensive video by RetroKids on how to set up your Digitact for the use with the RK002. Here's a quick summary of all the boxes you have to tick. In order to use polyphony and Euclidean sequences on the Digitact, you can either send MIDI notes and CC via the RK002 from an external source like a MIDI controller, or you can stick to one of the MIDI tracks of the Digitact in loopback mode. Keep in mind that this will occupy the MIDI in and you will have to get a USB MIDI host if you want to play the Digitact from a keyboard. As every opportunity to stay away from keyboards is welcome to me, I chose loopback mode. Out of the box, MIDI track A will address tracks 1 to 4 as synth voices you can play polyphonically and the default controllers of MIDI track B are set up to control the Euclidean sequencer that triggers track 5 to 8. Enable them by pressing function and pushing the corresponding encoder. Euclidean sequences are a fascinating thing. They are based on the algorithm of the same name you might have read about in computer science or partial physics papers and can be used to generate rhythms known and loved all around the globe. You don't have to understand the underlying principles to use them, there are just two things you need to know in this context. Musical events will be distributed as evenly as possible and the higher you set the values of the MIDI controllers, the denser the patterns will get. The Oscillator Pro is a fun instrument, but the built-in synth engine doesn't respond to MIDI notes. The RK002 translates notes to MIDI CC the synth will understand. Load the DUI, use the standard CC mapping of the K Oscillator, set note range to 4 octaves and scale to chromatic. Mod wheel now controls the other parameter. The 
Electrokit's RK002 is a great piece of gear and pure understatement. It is super convenient to use and prices are more than reasonable even if you're not a YouTuber. Seamless integration into your setup might take a little time, but I would say it's well worth the effort. The Euclidean sequencer is a constant source of inspiration, but it was the straightforward Chaosolator Pro DUI that eventually convinced me to get this smart MIDI cable. I would like to know how you are using the RK002 and I'm looking forward to your comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.